Okay, I'm three and a half years in. Um, and I'm gonna just discuss my experience so far and what I have been doing to actually progress to the level I am at today. Which is interesting. I didn't really think progress was possible until very, very recently. Um, so one of the things I've been doing is uh, practicing basically just this move on a pillow. So it's just just your wrists, keeping your fingers locked, pretty much locked down. So there is no uh, finger, no sort of finger action going on. They're locked down and they're just like this. Uh, and no arm, of course. So just this movement, up and down. I've been doing it on a pillow, just like this. And I think that has helped me um, a lot, especially with my, my left hand, actually. Because this movement has always felt really, really uh, natural for my right hand. I've been able to do this for the past three and a half years. It's been just fine. Exaggerated, it looks like this. But when you speed it up, it becomes more of this thingy. Feels like my whole arm is just wobbling around. Um, but with my left hand, it's been a lot more difficult. Um, it has felt unnatural and uh, I haven't been able to reach the same speeds as my, my right hand. But I'm getting there, actually. So I think this, just locking your fingers down pretty tight and just letting your uh, wrists do the work has been really, really helpful for me. Uh, so what you're looking for is looking for these muscles to work right here. No finger action, no arm action, just, just your wrist muscles. Just letting them work. And you get really tired really quickly. I think uh, maybe I'm doing like a minute at some BPM, I don't know, 180. And you get really, really tired because you get no rebound from a pillow. So just, just doing this is going to tire you out pretty quickly. It's a good exercise. Um, I also used to do, when walking from my rehearsal place with a pedal in my bag, on each arm of course, I used to do exercises um, like this. Just with some, some weight in the bag, I was just doing um, up, like this, you can feel it over here, and also doing it from the, the underside, so to speak, so you can feel it on the inside. Uh, I have no idea if they've helped me at all, um, but I did them for, I don't know, six months or a year or something. like when walking uh, from my rehearsal place, maybe maybe once a week, maybe twice a week, uh, something like that. Uh, and you sure get a burn, um, definitely. I mean, this is exercise like everything else, um, but I don't know if they actually help my playing. I've been doing this exercise as well, as soon as I've gotten the opportunity. And it's basically just a heel Heel down motion, I suppose. Just trying to get this down. And I still find this really tricky. Just this motion, your heel is in the ground. And then just trying different tempos, different patterns. It's really, really frustrating, really tricky. So, not sure if it's helped, but it's something I've been doing. Um, I've also been doing a little bit of this, just keeping your, your toes in place and just going, using your, your calf muscles and just doing this sort of thing. Haven't been doing it that much, but a little bit. When practicing uh, my feet uh, on a an actual pedal, my pedals, I've been doing, I've been mostly practicing trying to go from fast to slow, basically, 
So this is one of the, the patterns that I've worked on the most. Just going from uh, slow to fast, slow to fast. And of course the same thing on the other foot and also the same thing together. And together is enormously tricky. I definitely haven't gotten that one down yet. Um, but I also find that it depends a little bit on my pedals, actually. Uh, these are Chachi Copitos, which I'm using at home. And in the rehearsal place, I'm mostly doing axes these days. Uh, I find I find it easier. The axes are a bit lighter, so for me they're a little a little bit um, easier to handle. Um, definitely when going switching from fast to slow. And hopefully um, I'll post a video of some of my actual progress, sitting behind the kit, maybe playing along to something. Um, I'll try to, I just have to get some, some better camera equipment or figure out some way of doing a proper, decent video. Decent video. So, that's that. I'll keep you posted. Bye.